Greetings, unsettled souls, and welcome to The Correct Views. Sam I.B. DeGangi reporting for the Media Speaks, and it is that time again. It is the massive Fukushima update. The update that I do every month that I wish that I didn't have to do. The update that I wish I was a crazy tinfoil hat wearing lunatic and it wasn't true. But unfortunately, it is true. Washington's blog, April 25th, 2014. Fukushima didn't just suffer three meltdowns. It suffered melt-throughs and melt-outs. Uh, Long-time viewers know that on the uh, Fukushima update, I do uh, catch people up that might be new to this uh, travesty. Uh, a few years ago, a, in 2011, March 11th, a massive earthquake, not a tidal wave, caused a meltdown at the Nuclear Institute of Fukushima in Japan, which is basically GE. And GE brings good things to life. They did this to us. Um, get out of their stock. Get out of their mutual funds. That's how you get them back for this. Um, they then lied about it nonstop. And this matters because the dosages of radiation that they are claiming is safe is only being claimed by people who have a vested interest in nuclear energy in some way, shape, matter, or form. Meanwhile, people like Chris Busby, Loen Moe, Helen Culvercott, who's a doctor, these people are out here trying to warn the world that we're in a lot of danger here. And this, this isn't, oh, I'm not afraid to die. I hate when people say that. But in any event, it doesn't just kill you. It makes you susceptible to every cold, to every flu, pneumonia heart disease, and then finally you get cancer and you die. This stuff is so poisonous that if you have a loved one and they die of it, five generations from now they can dig that body up and the nuclear material that is in their body could be a cancer risk to them. That's the kind of poison that we're talking about, just to catch everybody up to date here. So as we reported in May 2011, that authorities knew within days or weeks that all three active Fukushima reactors had melted down, but covered up the fact for months. The next month, we reported that Fukushima's reactors had actually suffered uh, something much worse. Nuclear melt-throughs, where the nuclear fuel melted through the containment vessel and into the ground. At the time, it was described as the worst possibility in a nuclear accident. Pause there. What does that mean, Sam? That's why we tune into the correct views. Speak English. If the, the, the core of this, if um, this is the core right here, this is the core, and it starts, it's supposed to be kept cool, and that there's water up here and all kinds of nice stuff. And then suddenly it melts and turns into a blob and falls into the containment vessel. This creates a massive release of nuclear activity all over the, the entire area. But what's worse is if this burns through here and goes under the containment vessel here, which might as well be made out of straw, uh, out of the containment vessel here, then now what you have is this burrowing its way into the water supply. Ooh, yeah, the water table. But now it turns out that some of the Fukushima reactors have suffered even more extreme type of damage called a melt, melt out. I mean, I heard of it. It's terrible. By way of background, we've noted periodically that scientists have no idea where the cores of the nuclear reactors are, and this article has tons of links for you doubters. And that highly radioactive black dirt has been found all over Japan. Ever since the meltdown, we found, uh, you can look up Gunderson, black dirt, Japan. There's this radioactive yuck, it's like a dirt, but it doesn't feel like dirt when you touch it. It's tested positive for every carcinogenic element known to man that can come out of a nuclear core, I should say. And now it turns out that the highly radioactive black substances are likely the remnants of the core. The journals Environmental Science and Technology and Journal of Environmental Radioactivity both found on E&E &E News, uh, they're hardly, uh, there's a major news network and two major scientific sources there for you. 
highly radioactive black substances match fuel from the core of the Fukushima reactors. Do we know of anything more deadly that, and don't believe so? No. I do believe we are talking about the most poisonous elements known to man. The U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission agrees, indeed, hot particles with extremely high levels of radioactivity, 7 billion, 40 billion, and 40 billion, billion. Becquerels per kilogram have been found all over the Fukushima region and hundreds of miles away in Tokyo. Tokyo, I believe, is the biggest city in the world, according to population. 40, 40 billion, billion Becquerels. What is a Becquerel? Long-time listeners know where I'm going with this. The best way to think of a Becquerel, if you are not a scientist, and I am not, but I've had it explained to me by those that are, a Becquerel is... Uh, one reaction, one tiny microscopic explosion, if you will, that happens inside your body. Now, that one little explosion will go on in one second. Boom, 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 boom. Every time it explodes, it can hit another cell. And if it damages that cell, we have a name for that. It's called cancer. Um, if it bothers anything in your system. If you get it in the heart, you'll find heart disease. You're finding thyroid problems off the charts in Japan and on the west coast of America where you cannot safely live without one. And if you live there, you're going to die sooner and then sick. Get out of there. 40 billion billion becquerels would be 40 billion billion chances to get some horrible disease per second. Numbers that big are like cosmic big. These are the numbers you see when you're talking about the density of VY Canis Majoris or something. This isn't something that you see just floating around harmlessly in the atmosphere, as they like to say. So to put that into perspective, the Atlantic notes, Japanese regulations require nuclear waste of 100 or more becquerel per kilogram of deadly cesium to be monitored and disposed of in a specialized container. New government limit for material headed for landfills is 8,000 becquerels per kilograms. That is 80 times the pre-Fukushima limit. So the hottest particle found so far is 5 million billion times greater than the current government limits of what should be allowed to be put into a landfill. In other words, the core of at least one of Fukushima's reactors has been found, and it's scattered all over Japan. How did material from the cores get dispersed so far? Remember that there was a huge explosion at the number one reactor and even bigger explosion that occurred at the number three. Nothing like this has been seen by man before. Friends, FukushimaDiary.com. Continuous troubles at Alps, a filtration system part, is imported from France. Alps is the system that they're using to de-radioactivate a lot of the water. Well, let's see how well it's going. Um, Related to the article, uh, what does it matter what it's related to? A part in the filtration of multiple nuclei removing systems, the Alps Advanced Liquid Processing System, is imported from France. They have since stopped working with them. TEPCO stated that the meeting of NRA Nuclear Regulatory Authority on 4 18 2014, Alps is having the continuous troubles since they started the hot test in March of 2013. If the sentence sounds structured weird, it was originally written in Japan. Japanese. Among the numbers of the troubles, two of the two different systems were caused by a filtration part. A Teflon line sealing part is damaged. This part is assumed to have high radiation degradation through its nuclei removing system. What does that mean in English? It means that it's so radioactive that the machine that the French sent over to get the radioactivity out of it is melting down. It is not announced what French company manufactured this part. However, TEPCO added it is taking time to import the replacement. Yeah, it's their fault for not foreseeing that you boneheads should never build a nuclear power plant on an ocean. Or anywhere. On 4-19-2014, the day before 4-20, Fukushima Diary reported that Arriva is being eliminated from Fukushima decommissioning site. Uh, CF Mitsubishi Heavy Industries trying to quit being in cooperation with Arriva. It is not clear if this issue part of the manufactured by Arriva. So basically now they just fired the people 
or the people that were making the uh, Alps, either way, have no longer agreed to work together, and things just get worse and worse for all of us that are watching this disaster unfold. Uh, this is also from Fukushima Diary. The mayor of Yokohama off from public duties unusually long for the persistent illness. Now, what did I just say? It doesn't just give you cancer and kill you. This is one of the people that remained there when everybody else was saying to get the hell out of there. Well, why were we saying it? Yokohama City Mayor Hayashi Fumiko has been taking the unusually long days off from the public duties this April. After visiting Europe in the beginning of April, she took a day off on the 11th to postpone the planned regular press conference took another day off on the 17th to postpone another public duty and has been off since the 22nd again. The secretarial section announced that the mayor caught a persistent cold. That's what happens when you build nuclear power plants. That's what happens when you build them where people told you not to build them before you did it. That's what happens when you try and cover it up. It comes and gets you. Am I happy that this person is sick? No, I'm not some sicko. But this is what happens when you play with these things, is what I'm saying. The answer is no nuclear power. That is exactly what I'm saying. Um, I've got a few more stories to get to, friends, but I do want to say that uh, the show is brought to you in part by the Arcadia Grill. They're located on 321 Court Avenue, Northwest Canton, Ohio. Phone number 330-454-6055. Go there. You will find that you're eating some of the best food you've ever had. Posted 11 hours ago, according to their Facebook page. Black and mahi with veggie and rice, $10.99. Pasta bolognese, $10.49. Traditional sauce over the salad. They got a linguine de mar that is absolutely delicious. A shrimp ravioli, salmon patties, a chicken campanella. After Fukushima, we need to limit our seafood anyway. So if you're going to get it, get it from someplace that at least is going to be giving you a really good dinner. They got delicious food. Uh, they got Leroy Kelly Steak Burger, $9.99. Can't beat it. Also, look up the work of Mike McLaughlin. You can find him at Archangel underscore 44703 at yahoo.com. The writer of some of the most awesome fiction that you have ever read. He's selling his stories. You know what? You want to help an author? You want to help somebody actually contribute something to the literacy of the country that is going nose down faster than I can do this show? Go help Mike. Somebody's out there writing stories. When's the last time you saw an ad for a writer on a uh, ABC, NBC, CNN? Never, hardly ever, especially if it's fiction. Our country is forgetting how to nourish its writers, so support the ones that we have. All right, guys, Infowars.com has this link. It's actually an RT article. Out of control, Fukushima manager admits to embarrassing failure. The manager of the stricken Fukushima nuclear power plant has admitted not having full control of the faculty, contrary the facility, contrary to the statements of the Japanese Prime Minister Tepco's Akira Ono, said attempts to plug the leaks of the reactor's water has failed. Yeah, the president's just trying to cover so they can bring a bunch of people over there to be poisoned for the Olympics. That's all he cares about. He doesn't care how many people drop dead. Um, let's face it. When the Japanese were in World War II, they were considered monsters for basically killing their own people. Uh, they considered the Nazis monsters for killing their own people. If you lie about the safetyness, if you're not honest, you need to move from this area and never move back. If you're not honest about it, as they have not been, then haven't you basically done the same thing? Haven't you just killed your own people? It's embarrassing to admit, but there are certain parts of the site where we don't have full control. Uno told reporters during the plant last week, and it was mentioned to Reuters. Last year, the Japanese Prime Minister attempted to assure the world that the situation of the stricken nuclear power plant was under control. It was widely reported on this show and many others about that gross lie at the time that it came out. Overstatement by ass. It was a lie. However, over the last past couple of months, the cleanup procedure at the plant has been fraught with difficulties. TEPCO, which is GE, the plant's operator, has consistently faced contaminated water leaks at Fukushima, as they've been deliberately dumping it into the ocean to the tune of 300 tons a day. Water has to be pumped, and it does not dilute. 
Water has to be pumped over the facility stricken reactors in order to keep them from overheating. But the process creates large quantities of contaminated water which has to be stored in tanks on the site, which are leaking profusely because they built them too quickly. Uno acknowledged to, a pre to the press in TEPCO's rush to deal with the stricken facility following the earthquake triggered tsunami in 2011. The company made many mistakes. Yeah, well, the earthquake is what caused it. Don't lose track of that. That matters. Because if an earthquake caused it, which it did, then that puts a lot of plants in jeopardy here. You don't need the water. You can have a meltdown just from the earthquake. It may sound odd, but this is the bill we have to pay for what we have done in the past three years, he said. But we are pressed to build tanks in a rush and may not have paid enough attention to quality. We need to improve quality from here. Yeah, by not building nuclear power plants. TEPCO will have to improve uh, the quality quite a bit uh, so the plant can survive the next 30 to 40 years of the decommissioning process, Ono went on to say. The plant's manager said that the number one aim is to keep the radioactive water from getting into the ocean, which they have done an abysmal job on. In the latest blunder of the plant, TEPCO mistakenly flooded the Fukushima facility's basements with radioactive cooling tank water. Uh, look at the movie Fukushima. They got some of this on some guy's head. They shaved his head. His hair was growing in radioactive. Earlier this year, the Japanese newspaper, the Ashahi Simbun, reported that around 200 tons of water had found its way into waste disposal facilities under the power plant. Yeah, it just found its own way in. TEPCO said they were working to fix the leakage as soon as possible. Well, I, I, yeah, I'm sure they'll find some poor schmuck for $10 an hour to nuke him to do it, too. Cleaning up Fukushima is becoming an increasing headache for the Japanese authorities. Experts predict that fully decommissioning the stricken plant is a process that could take decades, costing the country billions of dollars. Following the multiple meltdown of the Fukushima plant, um, it says the Japanese government pledged to abandon nuclear power by 2010. However, in spite of public outrage, because no, nobody in the public wants it, the government was forced to reactivate its nuclear power plants because of massive energy shortfalls. My ass. Um, Ria Nov Novosti from uh, the new U.S. nuclear fuel in the Ukraine risks second Chernobyl. So this, I added this in here to prove that we have learned absolutely nothing from Chernobyl, Three Mile Island, or Fukushima. We've learned nothing from Maybeck. Uh, we're, we're just going downhill as a civilization. Moscow, April 25th, the use of U.S.-made fuel in nuclear power plants in the Ukraine may lead to emergencies comparable to the scale of the, Fuk of the Chernobyl disaster, a group of veteran atomic scientists announced Friday. Well, that matters quite a bit, and you're going to ask, what's the difference in fuel? Um, it doesn't say, but from what I know, just from studying this a lot, I think it's MOX fuel. It's a mixture of more dangerous radioactive elements, uh, some variation of plutonium and uranium. And uh, it's, it's very unstable for certain reactors. And yet, the use of U.S.-made fuel in Soviet-designed reactors in the Ukraine does not meet safety standards, the International Union of Veterans of Nuclear Energy and Industry said. We believe that it is a miracle that the South Ukraine nuclear power plant has not yet faced any accident because of this fuel, the statement said. Well, that's just great. We uh, look up birth defects, uh, uh, birth defects Belarus once. The, hope you're not eating at the time. The use of the Westinghouse fuel in the Ukrainian reactors was considered irresponsible and cynical by the industry uh, veterans. It says that the Ukrainian state enterprise, a, uh, and a, and, and Goatom and the Westinghouse Company previously agreed to extend the contract for the supply of the U.S. nuclear fuel for Ukrainian power plants until 2020. The Czech nuclear power plant faced depressurization of the fuel elements produced by Westinghouse several years ago, followed by the Czech government abandoning the company as a fuel supplier. How about shutting down the nuke plant, idiots? The decision that is cynical due to the fact that it was made almost on the eve of a sorrowful date, the 28th anniversary of the global accident at Chernobyl, which we learned nothing about that poisoned uh, people, uh, those Russians all deformed all over the place over there, which occurred as a result of a similar irresponsible experiment on an active reactor the nuclear scientists stressed. We live in a great world, don't we? It's full of geniuses. 
Um, Obama suffered setbacks in Japan and the Mideast. Basically, they're trying to say that Obama blew through dinner and immediately started talking money. And he didn't show the proper respect for the delicious seafood they were giving him. It's no secret that I think Obama might be the worst president in all of American history. However, I'm on his side with this. He can't, well, he should if he had any balls, but we know that he doesn't. He should be saying, he can't very well say, even though he should. You can't eat this fish. It's poison. Don't eat food out of Japan. It's going to radiate you, and it's going to hurt your health. Even though he's hid this from the American people, this maggot was not testing the food that was coming in. He still isn't testing the food coming in from Japan to our country. Just feeding it to us. And yet, he doesn't want to eat it. I don't blame him, but I think he's scum for this move. President Obama encountered setbacks to two of his most cherished foreign policy projects on Thursday as he failed to achieve a trade deal that undergirds his strategic pivot to the Asia and to the Middle East peace process, suffered a potentially irreparable breakdown. Yeah, because he didn't want to poison himself. Mr. Obama had hoped to use his visit here to announce an agreement under that Japan would open its markets of rice, beef, poultry, and pork, a critical step forward to the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Well, if Shinzo Abe is too stupid to take the American food and not to eat his own, or if Obama is such a bastard that he wants to bring their poisonous food into our country without testing it, then they get what they deserve. I'm like little Hitlers here, people. Listen to me. Let's just open up trade. Let's pretend this thing isn't melting down. In Jerusalem, Israel's announcement that it was suspending stalemate peace negotiations with the Palestinians under the reconciliation between the Palestine Liberation Organization and the militant group of swines Hamas posed yet another obstacle to restarting the troubled peace process. So it goes on to say that Obama was given this wonderful food, but he just didn't pay any attention to it and barely ate it at all. Well, do you know why that might have been? Because he knew that the food that you put in front of him was Japanese radioactive poison. That's why. I don't blame the man, but he's, a, he's just a rotten, rotten president for even trying to feed this to us and trying to act like it's okay for himself to eat. I'm glad it fell through for him. Last thing I want to get to, FukushimaDiary.com. Anybody takes selenium, it's supposed to be one of the most uh, active anti-cancer things that you can take. But I know that it comes from seaweed, and I take selenium. Is the selenium coming from the seaweed in the ocean, or are these places, I'm going to have to call a pharmaceutical company, but I'm trusting you guys to leave it in the comment line. Is it, uh, is it safe, or is, you know, is, is selenium something you need to worry about? Because usually I know it's great for you. They, they eat so much seafood that the selenium count in a lot of the Japanese people are protecting them from a little bit of this radioactive harm that they would otherwise be suffering. This is bad news all the way around. The seaweed farm dead in Hachinohe City, rotten and blighted. Fisher says he hasn't seen such damage. Again, the original language is Japanese, so if it sounds like the sentence doesn't flow, that is why. Cultivated seaweeds such as kelp or wakami are massively dead in the coastal area of Hachinohe City, Aomori Prefecture. I'm so good with foreign languages. The local fishery, fishery in English, the local fishery cooperative state, most of the cultivated seaweed has been blighted, rotten, whitened since the end of this March. Worded badly. Um, they're finding the seaweed in rotten conditions, things that look a lot like a dying body after radioactive poisoning in a human. Guess what it does to seaweed? It does the same thing. It kills it. The production of last year was approximately 2,790 tea, but it is assumed to be less than one-third that this year. A few of the local fishery cooperatives and members say it might be due to the heavy rain and snow until this March. However, they comment there hasn't been this damage before.
Do you realize that we bombed Nagasaki and Hiroshima, and yet they weren't finding this there? Many scientists have already said that this is worse, far worse, than those two bombings were. Wish I had better news for you, friends. You're listening to The Correct News. Sam I.B. DeGangi for the reporting for the Media Speaks. And this has been your massive Fukushima update. Please share. Uh, please know that doing these shows uh, costs money. Uh, there's two very expensive halogen lights there. There's one above my head. Microphones, uh, cameras, uh, sets, computers, time spent. Uh, you can help at the correct views at hotmail.com. Every penny you give to me in that account goes towards a better show. Thank you for listening, friends. Good night. God bless. Oh, yeah. Go on. Click the subscribe button. We need to get subscribed and get this unity stronger and beat YouTube at their own game. Okay, that's what this is about. Like I say, go to the remix button, hit the remix button. That way you'll have this video and, and keep up with this. Otherwise, you know, YouTube's just going to control us, guys, and it's, it's really bad.